Once again, we are ourselves another amazing episode from The Rising of the Shield Hero. My God. It's it just gets better and better for me. I'm really enjoying this anime very, very much. And the way it's going is pretty nice. Because you, you really don't know what's going to happen next sometimes. When it's off from the part where the Empire is trying to screw with Nafumi, the same repetitive act they do sometimes, and they do dive more into the mystery of the world and the secrets, that's where it gets really good. Heck, we had the last two episodes with Fractilia, and that's some of the best episodes right there. Even though there wasn't much action, it was still good because you had that great character drive development right there. And it was just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, we get to learn some secrets of this world. Some shocking revelations, for God's sakes. And it starts off with a T-Rex versus a giant-ass chicken. It was actually technically... Ancestor versus Descendant. It's some of you don't know from my past memories that I believe the T-Rex closest living relative is the chicken. So having two giant birds, technically a reptile bird and a mammal bird, fighting each other was very, very interesting. Even though there wasn't much of a fight, because let's face it, that bird just kicked its ass, man. <laughs> it gave you the they gave it the taste of the other white meat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> God damn. It was like, I was just cracking some KFC jokes, and even when I was cracking the KFC jokes, that's when we even brought it about it. <laughs> he mentioned the KFC in the episode, like, oh my god, now Fumi and I were on the same page when it comes to cracking all these florals. So, what is this giant bird? She is the queen of the florals, Vittorio. She was actually used to be owned by a, the S.H.I.E.L.D. hero a very long time ago. But when he passed, she was given one order, is to make sure this to protect the world and to make sure the heroes fight as one. As you can clearly see, one of the things she can do, even though she had lost almost all her memories about the past, is her will that she'll always remember. And that is to serve her master's will. However, it seems like she's losing faith. She's looking, she's been seeing what's been going on with the past heroes for a while, and she's not pleased, in a way. And with that being said, we got to learn some more revelation. Apparently, the heroes aren't supposed to just be fighting only in the same country. They're supposed to be fighting around in different places, and fighting for different empires. Not just one, when you think about it, other kingdoms have hourglasses as well. So if that's the case, clearly the way must affect other parts of the world. So the shield, so the heroes themselves are supposed to be not just separate across the place, but coronary strategies to fight against the way, but also have bigger parties. And for some reason, this one empire has all four heroes, but yet they hate the shield hero. Something's going on here. Something completely wrong and messed up. And it just doesn't seem right. What I believe is in the past is that the S.H.I.E.L.D. hero in the past knew what was going on. It was wrong. And decided to defend the demi-humans while the other three heroes went off to fight just for humanity's sake. And because of that, the three heroes were worshipped while the S.H.I.E.L.D. hero was demonized. That's just a theory for me. That could be the reason why the shield heroes hate it so much because the others decided to protect this one country while the other, while shield hero went off to do what he can do and probably raise Victoria on his own and gave him, well, gave her his will in order to, you know, carry on what needs to happen next. So clearly the church is involved with this. The church and the empire. And they're, they're worshiping the spear, the bow, and the sword hero while demonizing the shield hero. And they're trying to keep the heroes all to themselves. Just protect their kingdom. Everything else can burn. Sick way of thinking, but unfortunately that is our reality. You'll be surprised a lot of leaders in our nations will choose to let everything else burn while protecting themselves. That's just humankind altogether. Sucks, but that's the truth. And also, the reason why she was doing there, Victoria, is because apparently Philo is 
could be a potential Filorial queen. That's pretty nice. So pretty much the reason why Philo is a is a, is potentially becoming a queen is because she's being raised by a hero. So when you get raised by a hero from scratch, your stats rises and you get stronger compared to the other um, Filorial. Because the other Filorial, they just look like you know simple chuckle boats. You know, she got like simple chuckle boats. Where Philo went even further than that, and now she looks like a a giant puffy chicken bird. And she's just so fluffy and adorable. So, with that being said, it seems like Philo has some catching up to do. She is tough and strong right now. Like, the girl is headstrong. She'll dive into action at any cost because, let's face it, now Fumi the Gang had no chance of beating that freaking T-Rex, man. That thing had them on the ropes. It was impenetrable. But, however... The queen was able to take it down with ease, probably like centuries of training. But could it be possible that if Philo does accept becoming queen, could she also live that long and be that powerful as well? So I'm guessing. What I'm guessing is that we're gonna have a training montage for Philo. <laughs> it's the only natural thing. If she is candidate becoming queen, she must also accept the responsibilities and roles of being a queen. So probably she's gonna have to get stronger and do all kinds of amazing magic and power and stuff like that and just be on the level of badassery like Victoria is. Cause Victoria is already amazing. She just entered the episode just by taking out that giant ass T-Rex. And on other note, it seems like the sword and bow hero, cause screw the spirit hero, <laughs> screw him are very suspicious of going on with the church and investigating, but at the same time, Maya is right on their tail, making sure they don't find too much out what's really going on. So we know some serious corruption is going down right now for the fact that now that we know that the heroes are, of course, supposed to be united, but yet they're also supposed to be in different places of the world, protecting it from other waves, but they're not. So instead, they're divided, not really working together, and things are just an entire big mess. Wow. Well, like I said, this episode went by pretty fast. Pretty fast, but still entertaining nonetheless. I did enjoy myself. You know, because I thought they were going to find a way to take down Team Rex at first. Like, come on, it's a shield hero. I thought using the, I would use a shield or something and expand inside the monster's insides. But then again, the monster's inside is probably just as tough. We don't know. But instead, we got a giant bird coming out of nowhere and kicking a T-Rex's ass. You don't see that every day. Not even in anime. So it's pretty awesome. So that was episode 16. Very surprising. Very interesting. We learned a lot of shocking revelations. And we got a new awesome character. Then again, someone going to complain saying, Oh God, not another female lolly. Yeah. Yeah, you could say you would wish there were more, you know, some guys in here, but hey, why ruin something that's not broken? <laughs> you know, it's, it's not like it's a harem or anything. It's just, it's just him and his companion. So I, I don't even feel like it's a harem, even though it's an isekai, which is weird. You know, usually when you have isekai together, there's harem, but I, I'm just not seeing the two connect. In a way, I guess you could say the same thing for slime. You know, it's isekai, but there's no real harem, even though some of the chicks on there do admire him. It's not in a romantic kind of way. So you gotta think about that too. So nonetheless, yes, Shiro is amazing. Can't wait already. I am dying to see what happens next week. So anyways, you guys got any more theories on what's really going on, the corruption between the church, the kingdom, and of course, the ancient heroes of time, and Fiatorio, the queen herself. What else is she has to reveal later on down the road? Only you can find out next week. So if you enjoy this content, you enjoy my reviews and the Shield Hero, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. Macron Anime, signing out.